Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Hold a Public video and the topic of this video is very simple. I'm going to be talking about today why you should never ever buy a Hypercrate off the cartel market. Now I've talked about why Hypercrates are bad beforehand, uh, mainly bad RNG and also the items in the most recent packs haven't been too great, a lot of reskins and a lot of really crappy stuff. But for this video I'm going to be just creating a makeshift scenario. So let's say I'm a player and I've paid money to buy where I've gotten myself 5,850 cartel coins and I want to buy myself a hypercrate. I want to open one. Well the point of this video is to show you guys why you should never ever do that. So let's say I have 5,850 cartel coins. Well as you guys can see here the command boost. You can get 5 command boosts for, for 1,200 cartel coins. Um, now those are superior command boosts. They do sell very very well on the GTN and if we go check their price right now we can see that the um, the regular ones going for 1.2 million. That's not the one you're going to really want to sell. Uh, the superior command boost going for 1.6 million credits each. And keep in mind you can get five of them for 1,200 cartel coins. Now I've done the math and basically if you sell at these prices for which they do sell pretty well at, um, you can make over 30 million credits for your 5,850 cartel coins. Uh, the, uh, you can also make some other conversions. For example, the Grand Nightlife Pack here, if you look at what they're selling for on the GTN, they're going for nine or sorry, 8.4 million credits. I did end up selling one for 7.9 million credits. Um, so they do kind of sell at those prices and that's another really great conversion. Well, that one, if you did the, um, the conversion of 5,850 cartel coins to Grand Nightlife Packs and sold them, you could make around 35 million credits. So instead of paying that 5,850 cartel coins, you could convert those cartel coins into 30 to 35 million credits and, did, and then do some pretty amazing stuff with that. So I'm going through the collection items here and I'm looking at all the items. And now what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm just going to run through all of the items and I'm going to show you guys how you can actually collect 99% of this pack for those 30 to 35 million cartel coins. So the Bestial Fanatic, you can get the lower body armor for 20k, uh, the upper body armor for 99k, and then the supplementary body armor, I think is going to be a little bit more expensive here at 200,000 credits. Okay, so you can unlock the entire armor set for basically 300,000 credits. Going to the next silver armor set, the Warstorm Veteran. You can unlock the, um, the lower here is, okay, if you add those both up, that's around what, 80, 80, 160,000 ish cartel coins. Uh, the upper body armor for 175k. And then the... Supplementary, oh, that's going to be a little bit more expensive. The helmet's pretty nice from this one. Uh, for 420,000 credits, okay? So that's the entire other silver armor set. All right, going to jump back into collections here and see what else. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to look at the prices of all of these things. And yeah, I'm at the by the end of this video, we'll probably be able to unlock the majority of the pack with the obvious exception of the... Um, with the obvious exception of the platinum items. So the bronze stuff is gonna go super cheap. That's 4K for the supplementary body armor, 8K for the lower body armor, and the upper body armor is gonna go for, let's see here, uh, 50K, that's actually really expensive. I mean, this stuff usually goes as low as, as 10K, but I guess I'll just add it as 50K because um, we're gonna go off what the prices are right now. This is the Harbinger server, so prices may differ across servers, but usually for a lot of this stuff, uh, the prices are pretty similar across like the Red Eclipse, Ebon Hawk, uh, Shadowlands, and now the Harbinger. And this stuff is super expensive. Look at this, like 79K, 80K for this bronze armor set. No way, this stuff is probably just going high right now for whatever reason, and it's probably gonna drop like later on. But we'll just, I'm gonna be taking the prices as they are right now and not really kind of um, accounting for the fact that the market might be a little bit different at this moment. I'm looking at the prices right now after it's been a long time for this cartel pack to be released. And what that means is usually seven to eight days after a new cartel pack has been released, that's when prices are going the cheapest. Um, look at some of the silver mounts here. Oh my gosh, no, no, that's not the proper one. That's the one from the Battler Pack. So I thought this other one was called the Cool Deus, but we'll quickly check. No, it's called the Alliance Consoles Deus. Okay, and that's actually going for a very expensive price. Uh, not sur unsurprisingly, because it's a very, very nice mount. But anyways, what was I saying? I was saying that I'm checking the prices right now where they're probably way more expensive than if you just bought this right when the Cartel Pack was released. Um, these silver... Weapons are going to go pretty cheap, 34k for the sniper rifle, 50k for the blaster rifle, and 100k for the uh, blaster. So unlock all of the silver weapons for ar around under 200k. Cloud blue crystal. 
And even though, let's say you wanted to, because uh, the thing about what I'm doing now is I'm showing you guys that you could unlock the majority of the pack for 30 to 35 million credits, which you would not be able to do if you just opened a normal hyper crate. So if you spent your 5,850 cartel coins uh, buying yourself a hyper crate and getting 26 packs, if you think about it, that's 26 times 2, that's around 52 items. Uh, of those 52 items, you could get repeats, you could also get... Um, grand chance cube so that doesn't mean you're going to be unlocking items from the pack and basically if by the end of this video i show you guys that you can unlock 99 percent of the pack uh except for the platinum sabers then that goes to show that you should obviously not open pack and deal with rng rather you should just go straight to the gtn as your source for these items um but as i was saying platinum items so if you want to try for that like i'm telling you guys i've opened 10 hyper crates really recently i did a video on it i got one platinum item out of 10 hyper crates and that was from my fourth hyper crate which meant i went six hyper crates after that and not got a single platinum item so that should go to show that your um chances of getting that stuff are really really low so of course there's the argument that you might want to just open cartel packs for the sake of trying to get yourself a platinum item but your chances of that are basically nil and um even if you wanted to do that, like, still, convert your 5,850 cartel coins to 30 to 35 million credits and then just buy a hyper crate off the GTN. As of this moment, stalwart leader packs are going for under 20 million credits. I was actually considering buying a few up, but um, I chose not to because of the RNG is so bad. I don't even think I'll make my credits back at that price. But if you did want to try for the platinum items, you could just buy for 20 million credits. So basically you have 15 million credits to spare after that so yeah you should never buy this stuff straight off the cartel market uh, these gold mounts are actually going for okay prices the tank is really expensive because it's such a new and awesome mount but the arc light nova here is for 2.4 million credits or sorry 2.3 million credits actually so pretty cheap so you can unlock all of the mounts there for around 13 million credits all right so what have we missed here we've got all the silver stuff uh, the nathema beast handler license now this is a perfect example of um, an item that um, that is going for way more expensive than it should be because right now I'm going to value this at 10 million credits but I know for a fact that only a few days ago this thing was going for 5 million credits. I was actually considering buying one, I chose not to because I already had one from the pack opening I did but, um, but yeah so I'm like valuing that at w much higher price than what it would probably sell at. But um, but yeah, we'll do that anyway, just to highball it, because it's better to highball it and give you guys a, you know, a, a true number rather than lowballing it, and then you guys find out later that uh, it's actually going for much higher prices. And this armor set is just super cheap. I mean, imagine opening a hyper crate, getting only three to four gold items, and some of those gold items are this stuff: the resourceful engineer that's selling for like nothing. Uh, the emperor mantle stuff is actually much more expensive here at 945k and then four and five million so we'll just kind of kind of leave that because i'm telling you guys that stuff is normally way cheaper i mean this is just because no one has any auctions up on the gtn so people are putting it up for insanely high prices uh, it's not actually worth that much and the silent warden here is going for pretty cheap um 2.4 mil and then 2.9 mil okay and i think we've covered basically everything from this pack except for the um platinum stuff which we're gonna have to disregard because of their extreme rarity let's make sure yeah so i think we covered everything so i'm gonna come back with some of the calculations for how much you could have um, bought all these items for all right everyone so i back i've did the calculations and i've done the calculations and um Basically, you could buy everything from this pack except for the platinum items for around 34 to 36 million credits. Okay, you could literally unlock every single gold armor set, every single gold mount, the creature companion, all the silver and bronze stuff for 34 to 36 million credits. And once again, those are going off the prices right now. I cannot stress this enough. You could probably unlock it for a much cheaper price if you bought it back in the day when the market was flooded. Now people have gotten what they want. No one's really opening these packs anymore. So the market is selling it for much higher prices than what it actually would sell for. Um, so yeah, I'm really highballing it here, but that is pretty amazing. So let's say right now, once again, let's summarize. If I was a guy, I went and paid Bioware the money. I have 5,850 cartel coins. If I went and bought a stalwart leader pack off the cartel market and opened it, I would be a complete sucker because I would get absolutely nothing. I would get like three gold items and a lot of uh, bronze and silver stuff. And most of that stuff might be repeats. Or I could take that 5,150 cartel coins, convert it to 30 to 35 million credits using the current cartel market conversions of selling command boosts, maybe selling the Grand Nightlife packs, or selling some other stuff as well. And, um, and I could use that 30 to 35 million credits to unlock 
almost everything from this cartel pack. Because think about it, if you bought a, cart a hyper crate and you opened it and you got 13 gold items, which is basically every gold item from the pack, that would be a pretty damn lucky cartel pack opening, wouldn't it? I mean, you would, that would be insanely lucky, right? Well, that's what you can make for yourself. You can make your own luck by doing that this way, rather than playing with RNG, which basically serves you absolutely no purpose. And aside from that, you're basically ensuring that you can unlock everything you want from the cartel pack instead of getting like repeat bronze items that you don't need and that sell for absolutely nothing on the GTN. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Once again, keeping up with this theme that I have across my videos, which is showing you guys why cartel packs are just not worth it at this moment. They absolutely are not. So when the new cartel pack comes, whenever it does come, um, don't buy it off the cartel market. Just don't. This video should act as a complete disincentive to paying that money to Bioware. There are so many better ways to convert your cartel coins to credits and then go to the GTN as your source for these items. Your GTN will be the place to go because it guarantees you your item you want. Usually you can get it for pretty affordable prices and even when stuff is super expensive like the tank for example right now is selling for 7 million credits. That's really expensive but you can make your own luck right and you can ensure that you get the items you want if you play the if you play it smart with the cartel market. Dealing with RNG is just never a smart thing to do in general. Anyways, that concludes the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.